What up, everybody? Demon back, and today I have a special guest. Introduce yourself. What's happening, my fellow mates? I don't know why I'm feeling edgy, but forget it. This is CJ Destroyer. <laughs> yes, and um, <laughs> today uh, we're going to be doing our predictions for the new Shin Gojira movie. Um, yeah. So, I guess, CJ, this is your idea. You want to start us out? What are you thinking? Yep. Well, as all... Well, for, like, a reboot, um... It's basically a standalone movie, so... It should be exciting. So, no monsters or anything, so... I predict that it should be, like, a good movie, because... I, I believe they could, like improve it i guess i mean we have the special effects the uh the design on godzilla and all that he he kind of looks um menacing if you know what i mean i mean sure he could be ugly and all that but still yeah mm. i agree I, I feel like um it has a lot of potential here to be a good movie uh i feel like it's probably going to be Godzilla alone in this movie. Probably it's like 100% him alone. Um, I do think the special effects look pretty good. They're updated. Uh, they don't look like 2014 standard, but I do think they look good. Yeah. Yep. Um, and, uh... So what are you thinking in terms of like the story? What do you think it's going to be like? Um, basically like... um. I guess like 1954 or like 2000 where they just um discover um I don't know like discover um, why Godzilla is just rampaging the city and all that I guess so you feel like, the military you feel like it's gonna be more of a straight reboot or a remake probably for standalone I guess yeah, I kind of, I, I tend to agree. I don't see them them going any other direction with it than just, oh my god, what is this giant monster that's destroying Tokyo? Let's shoot it with missiles and that kind of thing. Yeah. And, oh yeah, there's also one thing. They, they never showed the atomic breath for some reason. Uh-uh, I think they're saving that one for the movie. Ah. So what, so what color do you think it's going to be? <clears throat> Red and orange. Right? Well, I don't know. Prob probably uh, the original light blue, I guess. I mean, if they use, like, red, then they'll be confused. Like, if it's the... What is that called? The... The, the red spiral. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The red spiral ray. Yeah, I feel like it could be blue, but I feel like it's more of more of going to be red just because I don't think it would work well with the body cuz the body already is glowing red. So it might well, be weird uh, to see blue. Well, it well, it will be okay if they just um, make it white and all that. Mm -hmm. So um and and maybe um they could have some like um references like if they find like um Godzilla's bones and all that like the original one from 1954. I mean they kind of used it with uh, uh the one from uh the Millennium series with Mecha Godzilla, but still we don't know. Yeah, I feel like they've got to do something different something to set it apart from any other Godzilla movie that way it's not same old same old yeah uh, but I don't know what I don't know what they could do huh? <laughs> actually pretty much think they're gonna kill him at the end or think he's gonna get away oh yeah maybe actually uh they they probably I don't know. They could try to kill him, but they could, like, tease that he's coming back, I guess. Like, mm -hmm. Kind of like they did with GMK. 
Yeah, some, yeah, something like that, I guess. Yeah, um... I feel like this Godzilla looks like he can take damage because he looks all ripped up and kind of mm -hmm. like he's decomposing. So I feel like maybe this one's not as powerful as traditional. Uh, or maybe he's just weakened by something. So yeah. they may stand a shot in killing him. But like you said, I don't think in this day and age they would kill him and just leave it there. I feel like no matter what, at the end of the movie, there's going to be a tease that he'll come back. Uh, yeah. But let me see. Um, Bane. I forgot what I was going to say, but... Uh, yeah, we probably don't know if he's going to, like... I don't know. He might return. Or maybe he'll be good. He killed. So what are you thinking in terms of the design? I know that's something that uh, everyone has their own opinion on. Uh, two words. Bowling pin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I think the design looks good at points, and then there's that specific image. I don't think it works well, but I don't think that's, that's going to be the way it is through the whole movie. Um, I don't know. Yeah. And that's the thing, um, how could, like, um, he actually, like, um, tear down any, like, buildings, I mean, with his, um, short arms and all that, you know? Uh, yeah. he'll probably just, <laughs> he'll probably just use the, uh, atomic breath, or probably just step on stuff. I don't know, it'll probably be funny if he tried to, like, reach the building with his arms, but it couldn't reach it. <laughs> Um, uh, unless he gets too close. Yeah, do you think he's gonna regenerate through the movie? Um, maybe. Uh, like, like I said, I don't, I don't really know. I have to see for myself. I feel like that's a pretty big possibility. Of, uh, I definitely think there's a lot of things that that point towards the fact that he's probably gonna regenerate throughout the movie. Yeah. So what do you think about the thing on the end of his tail? <laughs> that, uh... Mm. That bloody thing with the bones in it. I don't know. I just wish they could bring the... You know, the... The dropkick tail back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wish they could do that. I don't think this will be the movie, but that would be great to see. Yeah. I mean, he can't jump. Actually, I mean, with uh, all that big feet, <laughs> yeah, get weighed down. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I feel like something has morphed into that thing on the tail. I don't think it's just like a design thing. Like that would look cool. Let's throw it on there. I think it was intentional. Pro, yeah. Um, maybe they, maybe they. <laughs> I think it has to do something about the tail. Maybe it could, like... Hmm. I don't know. That's kind of the other thing. Do you think the tail's too long? Yeah, for its... Yeah. You pretty mean? much, but... I don't know. He, he might have, as well, like a tail laser. Hint, hint. I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. It, if... If they if they go crazy, they might use a a tail as a laser. It'll just like glow and then like I don't know, shoot out anything from behind. <laughs> I I think you're somewhat right. I think that the tail will be used as kind of his main weapon, but I definitely yeah. don't think a laser is gonna come out of it. Well, they did with the Hanna Barbera one, so. <laughs> did he really? Yeah, I mean, oh, you did see that one, right? I've not finished the full series. I couldn't make it through the first episode. Actually, meh. I don't know. I... Yeah, like Hanna Barbera. <laughs> even though they're, even though they're king of cartoons, but I don't know about the Godzilla thing. 
Like, that that Godzilla show sucked. That's, <clears throat> my, that's my stance on it. Hint, hint, Reptar. <laughs> that, that, that's what they were basically going for, actually. Yep. Uh, oh, no, I'm, I'm kind of getting off topic, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so what else do you want to talk about? Um, maybe like the, I don't know, the people, could they like have like the, I don't know, like the actors, maybe they could bring, you know, the old um, actors back from like the Heisei s series, because I think I saw that li that lady from the trailer, she, she kind of looks familiar, but I don't know. Um, they have brought... I know for a fact that they have at least two of the old Godzilla actors in this one, but they're playing different characters, of course. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, one. The girl, the main character, the girl, um, she may only yeah. look familiar because she was in the live-action Attack on Titan movie, so if you've seen those, then maybe that's where you're recognizing her from. But she hasn't been in any of the other Godzilla movies. Yeah. So, I hope she, um, comes back. I mean, actually, I kind of like her, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think we're going to get, like, good human characters? Do you think these guys look like they're going to wind up being, like, cool characters? Or do you think it's just going to be kind of standard boring? Just get actually, through these scenes. I don't know. They They look like, um, they could be, like, good actors. I mean... I can see a little bit of drama into it. Mm -hmm. Like... Like, they know that... I don't know. Yeah. Um, I think they look good. I think that they're probably yeah. gonna... Probably gonna bring their best... Like, bring their A-game to this movie, considering the fact that it's one of the biggest franchises in the world. True, true, true. Um, so what else do you want to talk about? Anything? Um, actually, that's basically, um, it, actually. I mean, nothing else, I guess. Alright, well... Oh. Oh. Oh, um... <laughs> when the... When are they actually gonna release, like, um... <sighs> Posters, I guess. I mean, like for the. Well, they've been putting out a couple posters here and there. Yeah, um, cause nothing big. Heck, I. Yeah, I wanna like buy me some uh, posters for um, new movie actually. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be getting any uh, merchandise in America for about a year. God dang. Yeah. Unless uh we get it from uh eBay, I mean. That's probably like, what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna buy buying everything online. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's basically it. All right. Well, thank you guys all for watching. Um, I'm D-Man. Uh, yeah. Oh, also, um, uh, check out my channel. I do um, um, gaming let's plays and all that. Uh, not much of a, not much of Godzilla related, but still, I, I might have some reference where I do talk about Godzilla stuff, you know, but, yeah. Yeah, I'll leave a link to his channel down below if you guys are interested. Um, thank you all for watching. D-Man out.